the next constant is modulus of rigidity assuming hooke's law to be valid for shear the relationship between shearing stress tau and shearing strain gamma can be written as tau is equal to g gamma where g would be the constant of proportionality which is also known as modulus of rigidity or modulus of elasticity in shear modulus of elasticity in shear the third term after modulus of elasticity modulus of rigidity the third term is poisson's ratio what poisson's ratio does is it allows us to extend hooke's law of uniaxial stress to the case of biaxial stress it is denoted by mu which is equal to minus epsilon y divided by epsilon x or minus epsilon z by epsilon x so what does this mean epsilon x in a case of a bar is the longitudinal strain this is a strain in the direction of force epsilon y and z will be the strains in the lateral direction okay so how poisson's ratio helps us to connect the hooke's law of uniaxial stress to the case of biaxial stress if we want to write the strain in x direction in a bar or a plate sorry in a plate when there are two stresses sigma x sigma y and sigma x are applied we can write epsilon x as sigma x by e minus mu times sigma y by e as you can see we want to find strain in x direction so this is the longitudinal strain we have sigma x stress in the x direction divided by the modulus of elasticity we'll get the strain in x direction due to sigma x now if there is sigma y acting in the perpendicular direction it will result in a reduction in length in x direction also so this is the strain due to sigma y in the x direction okay similarly epsilon y is represented by sigma y by e minus mu sigma x by e here both sigma x and sigma y are assumed to be positive now if you see the case of three dimensional stresses we have sigma x in x direction sigma y in y direction and sigma z in z direction so we will have epsilon x which will be equal to sigma x by e this will be the strain in x direction due to sigma x then we will have mu times sigma y by e this will be the strain in x direction due to sigma y as sigma y is positive it will produce a reduction in strain as shown by a minus sign then we'll have minus mu times sigma z by e this will be the strain in x direction due to stress sigma z on the similar grounds we can write epsilon y and epsilon z as sigma y by e minus mu times sigma x by e minus mu times sigma 
z by e and also epsilon z as sigma z by e minus mu times sigma y by e minus mu times sigma x by e so now i think this is clear now let's move on to volume change now as there are changes in all the dimensions of any body on which stresses are applied there must be some volume change also so epsilon v volumetric strain which is change in volume to the original volume is equal to epsilon xx plus epsilon yy plus epsilon zz this was derived in the previous lecture so these are the strains in x y z direction respectively now we have derived the expressions for epsilon xx epsilon yy and epsilon zz for a 3d body so we'll have 1 by e sigma x minus mu times sigma y plus sigma z and we'll have 1 by e sigma x minus mu sigma y plus sigma z then there is epsilon y y which is equal to 1 by e sigma y minus mu times sigma x plus sigma z then 1 by e plus sigma z minus mu sigma x plus sigma y summation of these will give you sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z by e mm, into 1 minus 2 mu okay so in a case of a bar sigma x is represented as sigma let it be sigma and then there will be in case of bar sigma y and sigma z will be zero it will be equal to sigma by e 1 minus 2 mu apart from this if in a 3d object same stresses are applied to the three dimensions of the body like sigma in x direction sigma in y direction and sigma in z direction then epsilon v will turn out to be 3 sigma by e multiplied by 1 minus 2 mu so from this we will define one more constant and that constant is bulk modulus it is represented by the symbol k k is defined as the stress acting on this 3d object sigma divided by the volumetric strain so if you see from this expression it comes out to be e by 3 times 1 minus 2 mu okay so we've got a relation between e and k here uh e will be equal to 3k 1 minus 2 mu also there is one more expression between e and g which is equal to 2g 1 plus mu so all in all we have e is equal to 3 we have e is equal to 
थ्री के वन माइनस टू म्यू विच इज इक्वल टू टू जी वन प्लस म्यू दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सप्रेशन दैट यू शुड रिमेंबर सो दिस लेक्चर इज ओवर फॉर नाउ विल मीट इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर